real knockout, isn't she, ma'am? As long as you're here, Weber. You can take Mrs. Cord's portrait down. Well, how would you like me to just turn her face around to the wall? Just put it in the basement where it belongs. Look at this. Best wishes, Franklin and Regina Tomlinson. You know, that's the banker and his old lady. Not bad, huh? Did you hear me? Yeah, you said to take the picture down. That was an order, Weber. You know, I'm sorry about that, Mrs. Van Leyden. I only take my orders from Mr. Payne. You dare to speak to me like that in my own house? It's not your house yet, Mrs. Van Leyden. You're just coming right down the stretch, but you're not under the line yet. Now, listen, if you're so interested in taking that painting down, why don't you ask Mr. Payne? I'm sure you'll get your way, you always do, whether it's marriage or moving into your old apartment back in New York. Get out. Get out of this house. What's the matter with you, lady? You flipping out? I'm not going to put up with this any longer. I'll see to it that you're fired. <laughs> sure, baby. Oh, come on, don't struggle, Adrian. You're only going to hurt yourself. Get out! <laughs> I'd like to oblige you, Mrs. Van Lyne, but I can't. And my boss told me to stay overnight. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I guess he wants me to keep an eye on his wedding gifts. <laughs> I gotta go. Will you tell Ada that I've gone home to bed? Sure, Eddie. Thanks, baby. Hey, Dad. Wait. Mom said you were sick. Well, I, uh. I, uh. You should have heard the way he was coughing before, Rita. Hey, I haven't seen you since I heard. Congratulations. You too, Norm. Thank you. Yeah, that's right, honey. You shouldn't get too close to me. I'm being pregnant and all, you know. I, I, you sure don't need the flu. He's got a point there, Rita. Yeah. Um, You're going to come home with us. Yeah, we got plenty of room. We'll take care of you. I won't even get close to you till you're better. Well, I couldn't let you do that. I'll be OK in the morning. Don't you believe that. He's just putting on an act to fool you. He told me himself he's so dragged he can hardly stand. I'm telling you, I'll be all right in the morning. Hey, you're lucky you've got a relative who's willing to take care of you, you bum. Come on, Lucky, the bait's over. See you later, Mom. <coughs> I'm not going with you. Oh, come on, Mr. Jacks. <coughs> Why not? I don't, I don't want to give you any, <coughs> any more problems. Look, we're glad to do what we want to do it. Don't you understand that? Yeah, but it's not going to make any difference anyway. Rita's still going to worry about you. So why don't you just come stay with us so she doesn't have to get up and check on you every three or four hours? Well, <coughs> OK. OK, good. Okay. Come on now. <coughs> Harrington on the telephone, please. You can take it over there if you like. Thank you. Yes, Rod? Well, I've been trying to get you for the last hour. I'm sorry. How'd it go? Go? It's, uh, it's over with. The settlement papers have been executed. Well, you don't sound very relieved. Betty. I'm, uh, I'm here, Rod. I... I'll talk to you later. Wait a minute. What's the matter? No, it's nothing. I'm coming over, Betty. No, Ron. I'm hanging up now. I'd like to talk to you, Betty. Not now, please. Betty. Mr. Harrington, I don't want to talk to you now. Well, I guess Rodney beat me to it.
Congratulations on winning your freedom. I, uh, I know it's upsetting. I'm sorry. Mrs. Cord, she's very upset these days. I can notice that. Very touchy. Say, Walter, the Boston papers didn't come early by any chance, did they? No, they didn't, sir. Um, they'll be in in an hour or so, the fines, that is. Uh, thank you. I'll be in the bar. All right. Never been warned. A present from my dad. Two sizes too big. Oh, thanks, but I'm feeling a lot better now. We're all getting to bed early tonight, especially you, and I'm going to make you some hot tea. Please don't bother. Ada gave me some just before your kids came to pick me up. He still thinks he's giving us a lot of trouble. Well, I kiss you goodnight, but I really don't want to get what you've got. <coughs> oh, uh, look, sleep as late as you like, because we always sleep late on Sundays. <coughs> Good night. <coughs> Good night. <coughs> What is it? I have to talk to you tonight. Oh, tips for the bride. I want to come over right now. Really, Betty, this is too much. It won't take long. No, impossible. I have a million things left to do. Adrian, listen. After the wedding, Betty, we brides need our beauty sleep. What are you doing here? I told you I was coming. Well, I didn't want you to. Uh, do you remember me? I'm good old friendly Rodney. I'm the guy that you always come running to when you scrape your knee. Rod, or... not now. What do you mean, not now? Get out of my way. Tell me where you're going. No. But a little while ago, on the phone... I wasn't making any sense. I was upset. Well, you're making less now. But I guess divorce proceedings have a tendency of doing that to people. Rod, stop talking. Well, then you start. Well, why should I? This is none of your business. If you're saying you're none of my business, then you better say it loud and clear. Then I'll let you by. But if that's not what you're saying, if you're going to come running to me the next time somebody hurts you... Let go of me. You're going to see Stephen, aren't you? Let go of me. He'll never let you out of that house. He'll never get away from him. That'll be the ball game, Betty. I'm going to call the manager. Stop playing games with me. What do you think you're doing to me, or does it matter? All right, I'm not going to see Stephen. Now get out of my way. Betty. I'm not telling you anymore, Rod. You're not my big brother, and you're not my husband. Preview from the continuing story of Peyton Place. What is it, Ada? What's the secret? There have got to be two people in this town who are making it. 
A rotten dame's a rotten dame in the major. All right, minors. that's enough, Lee. You really play it close to the vest, don't you? A man has been turned on that many times that unjustly has to turn sour. This time he's mine. I know he's mine. Get out.